What's up everybody, man? Um, I just had to get one of these Predator generators to see what they're all about. I've seen all the hype on um, a lot of travel trailer forums that I follow on Facebook. And uh, this COVID-19 thing gave me a really good excuse to con my wife into going ahead and buy one. So um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna check some of the things out. I'm gonna give you some recommendations on what I've done to mine so far. I've ran it for a couple hours, uh, but then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a couple more upgrades and mods and um, bring my trailer home. Oh, you're gonna like that when you see they're gonna be a little bit jelly. But um, I'm gonna bring the, the camper home, the Lance camper, and we are gonna hook it up and see what really it could power. Because um, we do a lot of off-roading, we do um, tons of camping, and we're getting ready to move here towards the uh, end of the summer. So let's go ahead and just crack this thing open. I'll show you what I've done so far, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more mods, and then bring the trailer home and get her hooked up. Okay, so here is my 3500 uh, Predator that I just bought. I love the thing already. Um, it's super duper quiet, um, but there are a couple things that I have researched to figure out some modifications that were real necessary in order to make this thing run better and last longer. So one of the first things that I did, uh, that I did, excuse me, um, do was I read the manual and the owner's manual also actually tells you to use this stabilizer. Um, this is a fuel treatment and um, basically you put uh, some of this in every time you refill your fuel. Um, and I am using 93 octane um, in order to make sure that this thing runs as good as possibly can. I also bought a, a nice new um, upgraded spark plug that we're going to be changing out right now. Um, so this was something I also researched. This is a uh, NGKR spark plug. Um, I will leave the link in the description so that way you guys can see it. I bought this off Amazon. It was like five bucks, super cheap. Um, the other thing that I did was I added this um, magnetic dipstick to the oil here. Um, and the reason being is because this engine does require braking. So you are going to see a lot of metal shavings in this thing. Um, so I highly recommend that is something you get before you even turn this thing on for the first time. Um, I've worked on diesel engines, turbo, turbine engines, uh, when I was a young Air Force dude, uh, still in the Air Force, but um, I did a lot of heavy depth wall maintenance. And I will tell you that engine braking is a serious thing. You definitely don't want any of those metal shavings roaming around freely in those engines. So um, I will show you that here. In fact, I've already ran this for two hours. So let's see if my dipstick has picked up any shavings. Let's see, can we see anything? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at all of that buildup. That's all metal shavings. You see that? Wow, that is incredible. All that black, that black ring right there is all metal shavings. And right on the, the bottom part too. So let me see if I can get focus in on that. Incredible. So this thing has already um, paid for itself. This metal uh, magnetic dipstick is really affordable too. I'll also go ahead and put the link in that. Uh, in the description too because I bought this off Amazon as well. So you need to get one of those and use it. So we are probably gonna have to do an oil change before we go ahead and hook this up to the trailer. Um, all right, got that done. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do, and which is the last thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna have to go ahead and rotate this 30 amp plug uh, upside down. It's basically upside down right now. Um, so if you hook an RV, plug into this it comes with a adapter let me show you that that's right over here thanks you got that right here that's the razor right there that's how we do all of our off-roading stuff but if you use this adapter and plug that in this is upside down 
This is the bottom of a 30 amp plug. So when you connect a 30 amp plug from an RV into this, it's gonna be facing this way. The tail end of that plug is gonna be going this way. And what we want that is, we want this to be down here. So that way when we plug this in, the tail, the, the tail is, is obviously downward. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that right now as well. Um, and I do have a lot of things in order for me to get that fixed. So um, this is going to be, I've already pulled that front panel off. It is gonna be a little bit extensive. Um, it, it, if you are not familiar with uh, pulling electrics apart and if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you definitely don't wanna try this. This is gonna require a little bit of skill. Um, and lastly, I will tell you, this thing weighs 99.6 pounds wet, which means with your oil, with your fuel, this thing's about 100 pounds. So if you don't have the might to go ahead and lug this thing around, this probably isn't the Jenny, Jenny for you. So nonetheless, let's go ahead, get to that spark plug. We're gonna do that plug, uh, the electrical part, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring, that, bring our trailer home and hook this thing up and see how it does after an oil change. Okay, oil change at about six hours on this thing. The recommended time frame is eight. But my gosh, look how black that is. Super black. And look, more metal, more metal shavings on the magnetic dipstick. So yeah, um, you definitely need to do that oil change. Okay, so we got this whole thing back together. There's a couple other things that I, I uh, wanted to mention to you all that I have done to this thing to make this thing work as efficient as possible and as effective as possible as well. Um, however, before we do that, let's go ahead and talk about the spark plug, the fuel, and the uh, rotation of the switch that we did. So the spark plug um, is actually right here. Um, you're gonna need a 13 16 socket to get into there. It's gonna need to be a deep socket and uh, just take your time getting in, in there because this the inlet, the hole that you have to use to get in there is gonna be really tight on that socket. So just take your time, go for it, and you'll be okay. Um, as far as the fuel, there's a couple things that I did want to mention. Um, and I know I talked about the, the type of fuel that we used earlier, but you wanna make sure you're getting ethanol free um, fuel. It's the most, it's gonna be the best type of fuel for this, for this rig when you throw that stabilizer in. And just keep in mind that your warranty um, is going to be really specific. Now I left all of my stickers on only because um, I, want, I went ahead and got the two year extended warranty from Harbor Freight. So in two years, I can take this thing back regardless of whether it's in great shape or not and I can get a totally new one. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in doing, um, go ahead and look into that nonetheless. In addition to that, if I have any problems with this thing at all within the next two years, I can take this thing back, they'll replace it, brand new model, uh, excuse me, a brand new unit, same model, for free, no questions asked. Um, I only did that because I'm not really familiar with this Predator brand, um, and I'm really, really uh, strict with my branding as far as things uh, that I buy. Um, so this is a new brand for me. I don't really know how it's gonna perform, but we're gonna find out. And um, we did also do a lot of work to this plug. As I said before, it's extensive. So if you're not really good with wiring, you might wanna ask a friend to do that. But nonetheless, now we have the bottom of the pigtail. It's gonna come out here, which is actually really good because it's gonna actually keep uh, this plug from coming out. So you have to rotate this counterclockwise in order to pull it out. You put it in and you rotate it clockwise to lock it so that's going to be really good um nonetheless uh let's go ahead and go grab the the camper we're going to have to put it in the driveway there's some things that i need to do excuse me there are some things that i need to do to it anyway to get that thing ready for mud bash we're going to go ahead and spend a weekend up at busco beach uh, with our sponsors 
Performance East. So this is a perfect time to go ahead and try the Jenny to make sure it works. We have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on there. So we're just gonna kind of throw this thing at it and see what happens. I'm pretty sure we're only gonna be able to run one, but that's fine. Um, we'll put the one on in the bedroom. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, folks. Well, we got the camper in the driveway and it's all set. I did a lot of stuff to it. Um, to get this thing ready to go in tip-top shape um, But we what we have here is a Lance travel trailer. This is a model 2465 a 2019 version um, This has two slides king bed suite uh, and then those two big air conditioners um, So we got it all hooked up um, I will tell you one thing that I'm really kind of confused on now is uh, I put this switch on upside down because I heard from other folks on uh, YouTube channels saying that they installed this upside down um, but obviously this model didn't have that upside down <laughs> so now it's upside down because I switched it around so that's kind of, uh, of a bummer so I'm gonna have to pull this panel off again and then put it right side up but not that big of a deal so let's go ahead and turn this thing on and uh, see what this thing does and whether or not it'll run one of my 15,000 BTU air conditioners Folks, well, we are out. We just did a weekend of camping and riding, and we were running our generator all weekend, and it worked out really, really good. Um, so let's just go back here and check it out. I did have to add some oil every morning to it, uh, just a little dab, and uh, we made sure we kept the fuel nice and topped off with our additive, and this thing did not skip a beat. Um, it was really good. We're out here in Goldsboro for Mud Bash weekend with our sponsor. Um, but nonetheless, this thing is a total beast. So basically what we did here is we have a the 30 amp connector. I had my own 30 amp um, adapter. I didn't use the one that came with the generator, but I also have my um, surge protector and then the 50 amp hooked up to it. Now we were able to run one air conditioner. We have, like I said before, a 15,000 BT air conditioner um, and I was able to get through 12 hours running that air conditioner all day on um, with the ESC throttle turned off so it was on full uh, full running with my air conditioner throughout the day and I got about 12 hours uh, on that But now I, I found out that you can actually run the throttle on. Um, so when my air conditioner is not on, it does down, it, it, the RPMs go down, it gets a little bit more quiet. Um, but uh, I was able to run basically all of my appliances with the exception of the microwave. So we have two 40 inch televisions in there. 
um, all of our LED lights. We got our fans. I was able to use my uh, fantastic fan in the living room. Um, everything worked out really good. I love the generator. I'm so glad we got it. It really wasn't that hard to load up either. So um, yeah, that is just my take on that Predator 3500 watt Jenny and uh, I'm just so glad we bought it. So take care.